Thanks for joining me wherever you're at, whether it's live on the VOD, through the uh, subspace relays or the uh, hyperspace relays. Welcome back to my little channel. Um, my ship here, there, my ship was back there um, when I set this scene up, but apparently it has floated off. Because I, I left it in um, F.A. off. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. All right, well, there we are. Um, we're still hovering above that planet that um, has that settlement that got me really frustrated earlier. Sorry about that. Um, but... If you didn't see it, you probably don't need to, but... So we show up at the settlement, and the optional goal, obviously, is to kill the scavengers for support mission. So I show up, and it's not just kill six scavengers, it's kill 14 scavengers. But when I looked at my radar, it was covered in red dots. Before I even landed the ship, it was covered in red dots. There had to have been at least 30 scavengers there. And the whole place was swarming. And so I tried to fight them. I tried to, uh, you know, get, my, get some distance and then pick a couple off, get some distance, pick a couple off. But they were just, there were so many and I was just so swarmed. It was really frustrating because it was only supposed to be a uh, a threat level four, and for Odyssey missions, a threat level four is not some impossible mission to be able to accomplish. Fourteen scavengers, I maybe would have expected usually around six 14 sure um but the whole place was crawling i was getting surrounded no matter which way i went i was getting surrounded um one person can only be getting shot at from so many different directions at once so i had to get the heck out of there my ship barely made it out of there i'm at 55 percent whole i lost my srv i think so that's what was going on. Um, but I'm going to head back down there. We're going to see if we can get that support mission hammered out. Uh -oh. I'm going to see what engineering I can do tonight. It looks like... Uh, it looks like... Where is it? Here it is. Um, I can actually engineer reduced tool battery consumption and noise suppressor. Um, I think it's going to take us a little bit more time to get some of this stuff to three to four. Um, you know, even if I say I were just to take that off, it's still going to take me some time just to get the suits to three to four. I mean, we still got still got some more stuff to get. I might work on getting some power regulators too. Uh, if I can um, locate some impact sites. So, that's the agenda. Just a relaxing time tonight. Nothing, nothing too serious. I'm gonna kind of come in at an angle that's directly above that site. back out this way and come back in at an angle. There we go. Now we're gonna come in. This is a beautiful planet though. Engaged. The 
Got a nice little atmosphere. Yeah, it's just a nice looking planet. Let's go ahead and put some music on. Yeah. Now let's see, let's see what the uh, scavenger situation's like now. planet actually, pretty big planet. This is for this mission. So, I'm not sure how many. How many folks are maybe already here? Doesn't look like I can see anybody. But I do see ships coming in, so. Unfortunately, since our scorpion got the Dominator suit. Good. Let's see how, let's see if we can, uh, if we can handle this. Oh, Stathy, thanks. Thanks for the follow. Nice of you. Good to have you here. Right, let's get rid of our ship. Now the mission says six scavengers, but the ships dropped off more than six. See if we can take these guys unawares. <laughs> Must all be in the center courtyard there. Three surrounding us, we know that. They don't know I'm here yet. Itchy eye. All right. Let's take a little bit of an inventory before we, before we make ourselves. All right, so we've got some health over there. Um, med kits. Way. Um, what else do we see? 
down there. Maybe some power. There's more health kits over here. Hoping to see if there were any little yellow power. Maybe that that might be right there. Some power, maybe. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, guys. Hey. Oh, boy. Arkans. Hey, Arkans. How's it going? Hey, Vinny. What's up? Uh, oh, okay. oh, I just didn't know we're live. We are live. You probably... Dials. Greetings, Commander. Seven for you. Guys, welcome. Thank you so much for raiding in. Nice to go. Good to see you folks. I'm sorry I'm a little bit distracted. I will introduce myself momentarily. I may not have a choice when I get killed. <laughs> yes, this particular settlement has been giving me grief this evening. Um, just the scavengers here. It's only, it's a, only a level four, but the scavengers here have been really tough. I don't understand why. Like I got swamped earlier. There were like thirty of them, which I think was a bug. But now I'm getting chased around. BP Knight, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Um, good grief. Alright. Back to the rooftops. <laughs> like, these guys are super aggressive at this settlement. Who are these people? Like, every time I get a little distance, they just swarm up on me. Like, they're fearless. Anyway, guys, um, I'm Orbital Jeffo. I am a space nerd, but I mostly stream Elite Dangerous here. But any space game goes, and I play other games too, don't get me wrong. I love all games. Oh my goodness. Like, I can't seem to get any sort of uh, separation. One day. We're gonna do this. We are absolutely gonna do this. Keep the on them. Moving up. 
All right, we definitely need to find power too, because we've only got one more power cell. They're a little bit aggressive on this one. Typically, they're a little bit dumber than this, or something's changed. This is only a level four. Like, I'm a little bit bewildered by this, because I pick up level four support missions all the time. And... I really need a yellow power case, is what I need. I'm just gonna run away from everybody till I find some power. Ah, I pick up... Um, there we go. Thank goodness. Alright. I pick up level fours all the time, and scavengers are never like this. And there's so many of them, too. Like, I'll post the VOD later, but earlier, the place was full of them. Literally full of them. There had to be at least 30. At least 30. That was the thing earlier, is I, I, I couldn't get away from them. They were... So you couldn't get any sort of separation. And as soon as you kind of targeted in on one person, four or five other people would be getting hits in on you. It was, it's overwhelming for one person. So they still think I'm over there. All right. The ship, ships come in and drop off new people all the time. Alright, so I've completed the objective, but there's more. There's more. Hey. Oh my goodness. Knows I can't sneak, get it to him down. There. Yeah. I did not mean to fall. I think that was. Oh my goodness. What's happening? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, she seems to have fallen into some sort of singularity here. It's getting spaghettified. I'm gonna... Oh my gosh! I'm getting eaten by this crate! What the... Oh my gosh! This is graphic. Oh my god, it's consuming her! just happened? Oh, I see her in there getting digested. Let's see if I can get a bounty scan on her. There we go. Alright, I think that's everybody for now. So we can continue with the mission. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, do we see any more bodies laying close by?
I'm not even getting any extra bounty money scanning these guys now. That's weird. All right, power building. Where are you? Shoot, I gotta call my ship back, you guys. I need my um, Maverick suit. What am I doing? All right. How do we feel about the tools being tied to the suits? It's times like these that I wonder if there's a better way to have our, have our tools. I need my, my arc cutter. Now I have to change my suit. That's not really any different than having to get it off my ship, you know, I suppose. All right, Maverick suit. And we're gonna rob the place blind after we get this power on. And then I'm done with support missions for the time. I think I might do some uh, combat. Because obviously they're, uh, they're after me. Scavengers. They're wise to what I'm trying to do. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, Stoffy, thanks so much for the raid. Um, who did I miss? Black Ace, 07 to you. Right, maintenance. Anybody here? Uh, BP9, thank you for the follow. Shaunabon, thank you for the follow. Eat Map Hoop, thank you for the follow. Kind of you guys. Sorry, I was a little distracted there with my scavengers. Energy transfer complete. Alright, one more door I gotta go through. up the reactor and start robbing the place. Hopefully. Hopefully it's not emptied out. Sometimes it's emptied out. The weapon schematic's good. Alright. Power center online. Lights. Very good. There's a data port, so oh, there. Evacuation protocols. I'm not sure if those are important or not. Take them anyway. Transfer complete. Here, no, no, 
no. I'm looking for very specific items tonight. We are working on engineering a couple specific suit and weapon items. And we're going to be able to do some of that finally tonight, but... I don't think I'm going to be able to get everything that I needed tonight. Unfortunately. Suit recharging. Suit fully charged. Leaving pressurized environment. See what's in the command building. Entering pressurized environment. Start in the security office. Scrambler, got plenty of those. Little documents. Probably didn't need those. This is an ingredient for something, I'll take it. anti xeno combat logs. Interesting. Probably important. Downloading data. I set the alarm off. Way can you get before it breaks down? I guess I got two bars here across the room. Now, oh. so about about this far. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Right. Good, 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 good. What do we got upstairs? Not a whole lot up here, actually. Cabinets. Ooh, we need graphene, I think. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't need those. There's a cabinet or a... Here. No. Data bank? No. Suit schematic, yes. Suit schematic, yes. Weapon schematic, yes. Very good. All right. How are we doing? How are we doing? Let's look at our app. This is this is what I'm looking at. Um, ED Odyssey materials helper. I need more graphene. Five more graphene. I, got, I need a lot, but. If I, I can go do these two things, and that's what I'm going to do today, the modules. I'm not going to be able to get things from three to four. It's just too much. It's too much for one, for one sitting. It's what, what, what it is. It's just the randomness of some of this, it, it, it's going to take too long. I could have sworn there was more in here, but I may not be remembering correctly. All 
All right. We got this building covered then. Jump over the railing. I'll watch for people out here. Uh, I don't think we got this building over here. Californium is actually a good thing to take. No, 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 no. Don't need any of that. If you're wondering why I'm not taking some of this stuff, it's because I'm almost full. And so I'm only focusing on the stuff that I really actually need right now. I got filled up yesterday, and it was kind of frustrating trying to decide what I needed to keep graphene good and what I didn't need, so. We do need weapon components. Uh, these are good things. These are really good finds, but... I don't want to fill up, so I'm going to leave them. I think we're about done in this building, actually. We're going to be going in circles here in a second. And I think we have to have, and that's it for this complex. Might be one cabinet upstairs. Bean. Might be one cabinet upstairs. No. Sometimes there's one in between where these beds are. Not this place, so. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. I could take the um, power regulator, actually. Now, that actually might screw up the mission. I'm not going to do it. I think you can. I don't think it re resets it, but I don't want to go through the whole shutdown process, to be honest. We can look for uh, impact sites. Bazooka, welcome to the chat. 
Debating getting an X-52 Hotas right now. New player. Played a bit before, but couldn't get into the game with mouse and keyboard. Want to give it a shot with a Hotas. Um, Bazooka, I absolutely... Oh, no, I'm full. Um, okay, we got to manage inventory. I absolutely recommend... Um, Oh, Taz. It's, it's a different experience. You have a lot better control of your ship. It's more immersive. It's worth the investment. It's absolutely worth the investment. Um, yeah, that's a big difference. So I recommend it. I have the X-52, actually, too. I've sort of taken some bits off of my stick. I took that finger guard or whatever this back piece is off of this and I've actually been inside of it several times making some fixes is it a power restore mission styles I think it is a restore I don't think it's a re uh, whatever the other one is there's no fire um So we've only got five slots available. We absolutely need the graphene. Um, what else do we absolutely need? We need the weapon component. Californium's valuable. I'm going to take it to... We need the weapon schematic. We need the suit schematic. Um, do not need personal documents. We got data room. Alright. Alright, where are we at? How does it work with PvP? Heard players using mouse keyboard do better in dogfights. Some people online say it's not true. I haven't heard that. Um, I would question that. I mean, it could be, depending on the player, but... I am right now a uh, crazy train. Welcome to the chat, by the way. I am uh, doing a, a, a support mission. Uh, power restore mission, uh, but I'm really looking for engineering uh, materials for some suits and weapons. If it's a restore mission, you think powering it back down will undo the mission? CFT. Okay. No, well, we're not going to do that. Um, I've had people in here telling me before that I should take the power regulator with me, but I don't really want to go through the shutdown process right now. In fact, I intended to be underway already, so I'm going to I'm actually going to drop some, some things. This is what I was talking about, like why I wasn't taking everything. It was... I was going to be full. I think we're good to board now. Stathy, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for the raid. It was really nice to see you, and um, I'll stop and say hello when I can. 07. Get some rest. Are player encounters even that common? Bazooka, honestly, uh, it depends where you're at. Um, the answer is mostly no, but... Uh, if you're in a, po in a common system, like if you're in Shinrar to Desra or something, then yeah, you're going to run into players, definitely. But if you're out in space space, you're not going to see that many people. Crazy Train, I know. It's, it's taken me so long to find some of this stuff for Odyssey Engineering. Bye, Stathy. Yeah, it's taken forever. It's driving me insane. Um, I'm finally able to put a couple modifications on some stuff. 
let's go turn this mission in and then we can get get on with our evening because I wanted to do some combat practice. Damn it. Oh my gosh, Mangaloid also? That happens. Welcome. Let's see what clip did it pick for your for you. Oh god. It was really, really close. That was that was a that was probably one of the best attempts I had, right? Uh, it was really close. Um, I definitely know my mistake. Um, getting I like watching the clips that it sooner, so shouts out. I love your VR. I really want a VR setup someday. I gotta get a new rig first, a whole new PC. But guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Orbital Jeffo. So nice to see you all. Clover, welcome back to the channel. Mangaloid, thank you so much. Thanks for joining me. It's good to see you. Um, guys, if you don't know me, I uh, am just a space nerd who loves space games. And uh, that's my that's my thing. So I mostly, mostly focus on space stuff here on Twitch and on YouTube. But I, I love all sorts of games. You'll catch me playing Assassin's Creed when it comes out. All, all the all the big games I love playing. No Man's Sky is a great one too. I've been meaning to actually play some of it. Um, I actually think I had it on my. <laughs> I actually think I had it on my schedule for this afternoon, and I, I did not end up doing it. Um, I ended up playing this instead. How's the performance? Well, you can kind of be the judge of it. Um, it's uh, it's not bad, actually. There's a few time. There's a few moments in the gameplay cycle where you definitely feel it. Um, I need to stop waving my head around. Um, you definitely feel it, but, um, you know, some stuttering, some CPU clogging. Is it Mr. K or MRK? But MRK. Welcome to the chat. You're wondering... Oh, I already read that one. Yeah, it's it's actually not too bad. Uh, yeah, they've been doing a lot of optimizations, and you can you can tell. You can tell. Um, hopefully, they optimize it enough to where they can get it onto consoles at some point this year. I forgot we were heading back to the same planet. Thanks for the lurk stopping. Oh. The bot should have said something about that. I don't know why it didn't. I'm going to turn in this mission and then... Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go visit Hero Ferrari tonight or if I'll just wait till tomorrow, but we should be in a position to where we can put two modifications on stuff. Clover, you've been mining. Very cool. Out there making some money. I was doing a little mining the other day. You know, that was my big, my big thing for a long time was mining. It's kind of how I made my, my fortune. Lake on, Mike Echo, Lima. Federal flight control welcomes you. 
It's on the other side. Okay. Hey, Top Flight. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. I do. I, I have a HOTAS. I have the X-52 that I have. Um, I've kept it running, believe it or not. I did have some yaw shift um, happening on my z-axis or my twist axis um, but I opened it up and I got it all cleaned out the potentiometer had some some goo in there so to speak like some some hinge grease or something had gotten into the electric contact so Somehow, I've, I've kept it, I've kept it uh, up to snuff. All right, sorry, I'm waving my view around on you guys, trying to read the chat. Uh, oh, recommending a stick for a controller user. Now, I've never, I use a controller for on-foot stuff, but I've never played, uh, I've never flown with the controller. You get used to it. You get used to it. Um... And Chrome, yes. Welcome to the chat, by the way. Good to see you. I agree. If you're gonna get a stick, if you're gonna start um, flying with a stick, don't get a... Spend the money. You don't have to get top, top of the line, but get a good enough stick that you're, you're not gonna be wishing that you... You're not going to be regretting your decision. Don't just go get the cheapest one on Amazon. You're going to regret that. No, I, I, I understand, Crazy Train. I absolutely do. No, oh, no, crazy train. I, I understand. I'm just saying, but waste, wasting your—it would be a waste of of forty dollars to get a cheap stick, is what what we're saying. The Beluga liner. Um, there is one that um, uh, I think they still sell it. Um, I still have it. And it's actually pretty affordable. In an ever changing galaxy, you can count on one thing to stay the same. Lavian brand. That might be a mileage may vary sort of situation too. I think it was, uh, I'm trying to remember which one I had. I had one, you guys. Um, it was affordable and it lasted 
decent performance. I think I may have gotten rid of it. Decent performance for quite some time. Yeah, mine had a little throttle. Um, let me see if I can find it. Let me see here. I stick with throttle. Close your eyes. Uh, uh, this one's similar. A brilliant star cresting the horizon. Um, a golden sunrise illuminating a brighter tomorrow. We believe that what lies ahead can be better. I don't think that's the same one. They, they made it look very similar, but I don't think it's the same one. All right, this one was what I started out with. It's the, uh, here. All right, this Logitech G has been out on the market for freaking ever. And this was my starter stick. Right here. This is what I started out using. Um, and it was a good affordable starter for me a long time ago. This has been, this particular model has been out for my, like my whole adult life, you guys. This is ridiculously long running stick. So. Consider this one or maybe, you know, set that money aside. And um, this is the one I have now. It's, uh, Serve me well. And it's not super expensive and super fancy. You know, there's more expensive ones out there. So. I hope that helps you. You can keep your keyboard binds as well. You don't have to have a button for everything. Yeah, there's certain things that I still use a keyboard, a keyboard bind for. Guys, I haven't mentioned. Welcome to the chat. There, Avis. Welcome to the chat. Thanks for the follow. I need a trustworthy courier, and I need them now. For a long time, but I'm still learning new tricks every day. I understand. I understand, crazy train. No one's judging you here. I promise. You know, if, if, um, you know, that one I recommended was, was my starter, you know, it's, it's pretty affordable. So we need to decide what, um, if I'm going to go to do ground combat, or if I'm going to go back to practicing, uh, Thargoid combat, you guys, because both are viable options for me tonight. I don't think I'm going to make the trip out to Hero Ferrari's engineering shop tonight I don't think it's all preference there's no right answer when it comes to what you play best with what you what you want to play with see there you there's you know you don't have to spend a million dollars on your equipment have a good time. Oh, Commander Styles, congratulations. That makes me want to head out there and uh, and practice. And folks, for those of you who are new to my channel, I have been working on my first venture into anti-xeno combat i engineered a ship i've been practicing so it's it's been a journey over the past three weeks a lot of people have been helping me
Yeah, the control uses a lot of combos. Is this system still in conflict? It is. We could do a little ground combat before we go anywhere else. Actually. Uh, Odyssey, ground, combat zones. All right. There's a poll. Vote in the poll. See what you want to see next. Um, I'm going to check our uh, system map here. Vote in the poll if we're going to do Thargoids or we're going to go do... We're going to do some ground combat. Um, there it is. State war. We want war. War. And civil war. Aronium. Yeah, Hotas for the immersion. Let your girlfriend try flying. Yeah, totally. Absolutely should. I didn't mean to put such a long pull. I meant to hit two minutes, and I think I hit five minutes. But uh, it looks like uh, Thargoid combat practice is winning out. So it looks like that's what we're going to um, start preparing for. So I'm going to head back to my carrier and get my uh, get the carrier heading out to the Pleiades. And if anybody would like to join, you're welcome to play with everybody. Oh, I just put a poll up if we're going to do Thargoid combat or ground combat. Um, well, we can go, well, wherever there's Thargoids, really. Um, I usually head to the Pleiades. Classic Thargoid home, but no anywhere, really. Probably going to set up a jump here. Head right out here to, uh... How did I get so far off? There we go. So, uh... How do the dual sticks work? One of them controls your throttle, I'm guessing. Oh, so every axis is on the sticks, I guess, huh? That makes sense. Gotcha. 
Gotcha. One of them's all thrusters, and then what do what do you um I see. I see, I see. Okay. It makes sense in my brain. Makes sense. Um I need the carrier. Jump. I'm gonna go to the Pleiades. Pleiades is pretty much guaranteed Thargoids these days. Just need a system that's not full of fleet carriers. There. This one. Perfect. Alright. Carrier's about to jump. Alright, so Thargoid practice has one out, you guys. Four to one. Let's head back to the carrier. Best HOTUS you can get is purple. Feels like it's ripped out of a real aircraft. Ship release. Expedite climb to exit Oh, Dr. Lupo, thanks for the follow. Oh, seven, welcome to the channel. We're queuing up to do some uh, Thargoid practice, which is about three weeks into it. I started holding my own. Started. Guys, don't laugh at me when we get out there. Now there are much, much, what am I trying to say? There's a freaking expensive equipment out there that you can buy. <laughs> it's okay if you laugh at me, I don't mind. <laughs> At least I'm being entertaining if you're laughing at me. Frameshift drive charging. Probably should honk. Give it a honk. Frameshift drive charging. Yeah, I gotta keep up with my Thargoid practice, you guys. Otherwise, I'm gonna start getting rusty, and I was pretty much gone for a week already, so we gotta. Keep at it. JP, is it JP Man? Is, it, is that how you say your name? Welcome to the chat. I've been at the ED after something like a year and had a question. What's with all these fleet carriers that are nearby? Oh my god. Um. Fleet Carriers were added to the game. They are a player-owned space station, basically. Um, that's what they are. They cost five billion credits. 
made by the Brewer Co Corporation. You can buy them from certain uh, stations have uh, facilities there, dry docks, where the carriers come from. That's where you buy them. But you can put all your ships on them, you can sell uh, commodities from them, uh, you can provide services just like a space station. And interiors for them are coming in an update uh, in the next few months. So yeah, um, it's basically your own station. Melter of Snowflakes, thank you for the follow. Good morning. Good to see you. Yep, 500 light year jumps. Yep, yep. JP Man, wow. Good to have you in the chat. Oh, then my, uh, I still got my Christmas lights up in this ship. <laughs> yeah, I gotta take them down eventually. I gotta take them down off the house, too, eventually. Um... There's a lot. It especially if something's going on, um, they tend to they tend to kind of clock things up. You can filter them off your nav panel. I hit the filter button and then just check everything but fleet carriers. I do that sometimes when there's just too many of them. Yeah, there's more of them. People have had a chance to be able to buy them. You guys like the purple? I'm not real familiar. That, that brand. Yeah, yeah they've definitely uh, added a. Di they've definitely added a new dynamic to the way people play, interact in the galaxy. galaxy. So we're a few minutes out from uh, jumping back down to the Pleiades, do a little Thargoid combat. Nanya Biz, hello. Welcome, welcome. How many controllers you sacrificed to Ninja Gaiden? Set up a pretty little shot here. I'm going to take a quick break while we are jumping down there. I'm going to get me a little beverage and a bathroom break. I'll be right back, you guys. Be right back. We are about to jump, though. So, uh, if anybody wants to join me down in the Pleiades um, for Thargoid Combat, you're more than welcome. Alrighty, folks. I'm back. Um, 
I was just updating my stream title. I can't remember how to how to spell Pleiades, so I needed to come back here and check my galaxy map. Uh, Pleiades. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, we're getting underway. Heading down there. Okay. Gotta stay fresh. There we go. And, uh... Tactic Ghost. Tactic Ghost. I like that. Um, come on back. We'd love to have you. Um, you know, I, I think it's a good time for a lot of people to start coming back. And MRK, it has been getting better. I will say that. Uh, it really has come a, come a long way. Um, it's worth a shot. Water world, an ammonia world, a gas giant with water life, and a pretty ink gas giant. Core mining is not quite as lucrative as it once was, but you can still make some good money. You can. Okay, I'm caught up with y'all. Right, here we go. We ready? Five, four, three, two, one. I gotta admit, I'm pretty excited for carrier interiors. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to walk around your carrier. <laughs> Lots of pink ass giant screenshots. been pushing them back a little bit, Clover. Um, not quite sure. It was supposed to be update 10, and then it wasn't update 10. I would guess in the next few months. Oh, Commander Styles, no worry. No worry, you're good. Guys, don't you worry. I need the practice though. I've got to I've got to stay on top of it or I'm going to lose the uh, lose the momentum that I was gaining last week. Carriers came out before Odyssey. Um, but they're they're adding interiors for carriers. So you can walk around your fleet carrier and you can install a few a few foot based services like the gift shop I like to call it the pioneer supplies shop you can put a a bar in it I agree I agree I'd rather them wait too it's just a little bit a little bit um, when you when you're excited about it it's a little bit I mean to be delayed, but no, I get it right. We don't need a buggy mess. We've had plenty of buggy messes, so. You use your computer as a fleet carrier and multiple accounts. I still only have one commander account. I'm surprised I haven't set up an alt. Uh. Yeah, it is.
but they they do seem to be really working on on odyssey and improving and trying to listen to us as best they can you know and that's that's saying something for for frontier so clover um you asked me uh before the break, where I was heading, and I could be in a, a therapy. I could be anywhere around here. If if you wanna, if you wanna pop out, you're more than welcome to. I'm probably just gonna pick a place at the moment and see if they've got some threat level five cyclops sites. Try and find maybe one that's under incursion. This one's under incursion. Let me make sure I've got some a few limpets for repairs. Um, smile anal. Um, thank you for subscribing with Prime. That's really really nice of you. Good to have you. Um. Alexicus, 07 to you. Welcome. Doing a little Thargoid practice again. I have been out of it for a week. I had to work and then I got sick. And so I'm hoping I have kept what I kept my gains from a week ago. We're going to find out. We're here in the Pleiades. Uh, going to find me a Cyclops or two. Just have at it. It may be a shit show, you guys. Just fair warning, I'm new at this. account was a gift, the second was on sale, the third is the freebie from Epic. I forgot Epic was giving away the game, so a lot of people got alt accounts then, I remember. Cross-platform would be awesome. Tactic, it really would. It would, it would be... Amazing. I have friends that are on consoles that I can't play with. They can visit my carrier, but I can't see them. And that that's kind of disappointing. Nav beacon. Find all the signal sources at once. That nav beacon. And at the rate that they've been um, optimizing Odyssey, I mean, I feel optimistic for console Odyssey release. I, I'm optimistic for it. I know they're not saying much about it, but they have a bad track record of over-promising and under-delivering, so I think being kind of quiet on this one is probably their better option. Well, I parked uh, in, uh, let me drop in here real quick or I'm gonna miss it. Um, where did I park? Down here in... Let's see if I can... Let's 
Or I will... Let me see if I can... Can I paste in the game? Yes, I can. There you go. That's where I parked my carrier. First planet. I think. Is that right? I need to get started. C26. C28. Yep. And then I'm in C25. Right now, looking for a class 5. up earlier for sure I may have to uh there's a threat six but I need to I need to get better at red fives before I start doing sixes. Um, let's select encryption. Is that the only system in incursion right now? That cannot be. Are these guys down here? All right. We're going to do a therapy. See what's there. That's a good goal. That's a good goal. Yeah, I'm not... This whole experience in uh, anti xeno combat has been, uh, you know, hitting above my weight class itself. So I don't need to actually try and start hitting above my weight class. <laughs> so, one thing at a time. Yeah. Star. I love white stars. Getting a little, a little toasty there. Cut the corner. And hopefully this system has some vibes for us. It's always the canopy, isn't it, Clover? They really go for the canopy. They really know what... One thing that I, I uh, was surprised with when I started learning all of this is the Thargoids really know how to attack your ship. They know exactly what they're doing. Um, they go after your weapons that you're hurting them with. They go after your life support. They go after your canopy. They know exactly how to get you out of the fight. It's pretty impressive. Just speaking, you know, 
for the lore of it all, like, the Thargoids, they know their shit. They're not stupid. Yeah. It makes sense, too. some Cyclops. Just don't make this a wild beast chase. There's another six. A lot of sixes. Oh my gosh, look at all the sixes. Um, there's fives, but I need the icons. I need the little... these icons. Oops. Are all sixes? Are you kidding? Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Thread five. All right. <laughs> the Battle Belugas, I love it. I got an, ex uh, an uh, exploration beluga. My expluga. Oh shoot, you're right. Yeah, we're not, we're not making it. It may respawn, but you're right, we're not making it. There's no way. We're gonna let's go back to our list. Another threat five. It's 107 out there, though. Yeah, that's just not possible. Like this is takes taking forever, isn't it? Let's just keep hitting the systems that I know have a nav beacon. We can load the data. Find a closer one. If we have to double back, we'll double back. But I feel like Friendship drive charging. I'm wasting time. I don't like this. Oh, you've got a few of them, huh? The beluga. I, I'm not ashamed to say I love my beluga, my expluga. I also have an orca for exploration. My explorca. Alright, now beacon. things. Combat pilot is not one of them. Only six. Only six belugas. I salute you. Now, I've never, um, I mean, this is my first, you know, time in, uh, anti-Xeno combat the past three weeks or so. I never got into it before. I never read elite rank in regular combat either. I've never been 
being super, super uh, combat oriented. I do enjoy it. I've done a lot more exploration and trade and that sort of thing. The Orca is a great ship all around for multiple uses. It's really an amazing ship, actually. Somebody decommissioned their carrier, didn't they? There's a fire five. Perfect, you guys. Perfect. Eight. Passenger cargo, two explorers, and two combat belugas. I am. Um, I gotta get some practice in on ya. I really do, otherwise I'm gonna get, I'm gonna lose the progress that I was making over a week ago. I've been out of it for too long. Like, wasn't it like Christmas or something? I was last out here doing it. That's a great name, Melter. Del Della's Defiance. That's a, that's a really good name. Making your mark in Evangelus. I've been sticking to the Pleiades for my practice. That way I don't make my make a fool out of myself in front of all the cool kids. <laughs> Joking, of course. Supposed to be a combat ship, plans change. Eight pound body with an 80 pound soul. Boo. 
Hawaiian buyer. insect and a space flower. They're very uh, flowery, aren't they? Flight assist off. to um to um the uh fixed weapon aiming again. No good at um, FA off um, aiming, even with my sticks. I just haven't had enough practice at it. But fixed weapon is uh, 
pixel getting used to. Yeah, you know what? The one thing that I uh, regret doing on this build is um, getting gimbaled uh, vent laser versus turreted. You see a lot of people use their turreted vent lasers, and they do pretty well. Flight assist off. It's such a feat to be able to...
I love the flak launcher, you guys. It's so much fun. Flight assist. Oh. It really is. everything I've learned. Might as well take this opportunity to get a few more hits. It's my first truly solo Cyclops kill, so thank you for being here to see it. Thank you, thank you, you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Eveltro, welcome to the chat. Thank you very much. <laughs> Guys, thank you, thank you. Thanks for the follow, Veltro. Awesome. I've gone now you guys rewarding me with I've gone follows. Space crazy! Oh my god! <laughs> I have gone space crazy. I really have, guys. Thank you so much. So, that's it. That's my first one with no assistance. So, thank you very much. We'll pat myself on the back just a little bit. I have uh, been working on this for, uh, yeah, I probably, probably should. I don't think I have any collectors on here, do I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to swim through the goo in order to get it, actually. Can I get it?
Alright. Oh man, that did not get it. Seriously? Oh boy. What have I done now? I saw it pop up, but you're probably right. All right. We need to go to the carrier. <laughs> Thanks, Clover. Yeah. Clover, absolutely. Absolutely. Am I still down thrusting? No, I'm not. Here we go. Let me go back. Uh, let me uh, repair. And uh, yeah, we definitely will. No, I, I killed one. I'm done. I'm going home. I'm done. No, I'm just... We're going. Job's done, guys. The threat is... The threat has been eliminated. Dials, I'm glad you did, too. You've been, uh... You've been here with me pretty much most of the way. Uh, since I started learning all this, you and Clover, um, you guys have both been, uh, been here with me. Uh, is it Topiki 2G? Is that right? Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. I don't, I didn't put a, uh, stupidly enough, I don't know why I didn't put a caustic resistant cargo hold in here. Uh, so that's probably why I keep getting caustic damage from the inside out. Yes. We're just going balls to the walls. It's gonna get them all. <laughs> Top light, thank you for the raid. Guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome, Raiders. I'm Orbital Jeffo. I've gone crazy! We do I've gone space. space crazy! Oh my god! We've all gone space crazy here. Here at the channel. Some more than others. Um, but welcome, guys. Ba, 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 ba. What am I doing here?
Is my um, bot not doing anything? What is? At least it's doing your clip. But shout out to Top Flight. Thanks for the raid. Welcome. I better get on board and get this thing off my ship before it eats me from the inside out. Request confirmed. Move to your designated pad, Commander. I'm not sure what happened to uh, Empirical Nacho tonight, but he's supposed to be shouting people out. <laughs> well, I've had some kind raids and um, got a very supporting, supportive community. The Elite Dangerous community is pretty awesome. So you guys, thank you so much. You guys are all amazing. Yeah, I only started streaming uh, in September, so... I'm a little fried. And Gecko Labs, welcome to the channel. Landing complete. Command shut down. Welcome, Commander. Thanks for the sub, Top Flight. Thank you so much. Welcome. Good to have you. Yep, I am a little, I'm a small a small potato, a little little uh, fingerling potato in the Twitch sea of content. And I'm okay with that. You know, I'm here for the fun and the community. All right, you can go erode my cargo or my fleet carrier. Get off my ship. <laughs> Kill the damn flowers. Always something new to learn, it seems, in the galaxy. Top light, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Need all the luck I can get sometimes. That's very true. That's very true. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be on the internal module. I thought we were going to have $100,000 of damage, like I did the other day. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see, we need to team up here with Clover. Does have a learning cliff. It really does, but uh, a lot of helpful folks to play this game, and especially here. There's always somebody to ask. Lots of people willing to help. Or should we go back to where I was um, and use those level fives, or where should we? Where should we go? I'm coming to you, I suppose. I don't think it really matters where we go, as long as there's. Sounds good. All right, I'm I'm, I'm coming coming to you. drive charging. You're good. Do do what you gotta do. We'll we'll find one after if need be. Don't don't worry. You uh you have at it. Ready to engage. 
I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, impose, so. Knock him out. I took the Christmas tree off the dash, but I forgot the Christmas candle over there, didn't I? Fresh Thargoid pedals. Fried Thargoid. <laughs> oh, Top Fly, thanks for the gift sub to Chrome. My, uh... Thank you, thank you so much. Ah, fly, it's very kind of you. These gifts. It's the community, you guys. Muting my own headset. Sitting on the cord. All right. I'm gonna pop in and uh, check out Clover. Saving the galaxy. Imminent destruction by these. Are Thargoids ammonia based? I, I want to say they're ammonia based, right? Why they're so corrosive? These ammonia based life forms. Alright, I'm popping on in. drink ammonia. They may breathe it. I think it may be a component of their atmosphere. humans are carbon water. Okay. Got it. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So it's like they're water. Celine Star Dragon. for the follow. I love that boom. The Admiral has arrived, guys. Absolutely check out.
the Admiral. Well, it's good to see you. I was... Oh my goodness. <laughs> had a lot of fun watching you yesterday. I think it was yesterday, wasn't it? Slash 79, thank you for the follow. Good to have you. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We need the uh, nav beacon, don't we? Where is it? I gotta filter these fleet carriers. This is just too many. Exactly, elevator. It's just too many awesome carriers. pop in and update my signals in the nav beacon. It's only 921 away. Get a fresh fresh batch of data possibly need need be. 072, yeah. How's your night going? <laughs> We're glad to have you guys. <laughs> Nexus, welcome, welcome to the chat. Or seven to you. Oh, you got one. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go get back with uh, Clover. Go back. I don't have time for this. I'm gonna fight this. What is in my cargo hold that you want? Nothing. There's nothing. I have nothing. This is a Thargoid ship, dude. I don't have time for this. I've got a date. <laughs> it, um, I thought that too, Chrome, but then I, I just started looking close. It looks like just a little lit up piece um, that kind of wobbles back and forth. Um, I was thinking the exact same thing, that it was, uh,
Now, how can you tell um, what level it is? Target shields offline. I didn't get far enough away on that one. No, oh, he's chasing him. Look at that. <laughs> I love how they chase. It's not quite as obviously apparent when you're being chased. Like, they're freaking after you. We're back in business. sticking around. He's like, I'm out. Oh, okay. Alright. So I'll start paying attention to that and that'll tell you how advanced it is. And thank you for the follow tactic, Ghost. Sorry, I almost missed that. Okay, um... We can probably uh, head over to Serenity as well, and... Make sure we're stocked up. I guess he's going to Yggdrasil. Go there too. All 
All right, I was having issues the other day with Navlock getting close to planets and things, so I'm just gonna follow him the old-fashioned way. You've streamed every day this year, <laughs> Top Light. It's getting serious, huh? Well, been a long year already. and drink. want you to um, push it on time. If you've got to take off, don't feel bad about it. We're good, aren't we? Except for paint. sitting on it's pulling on me here Yeah, the base cost is five bill. Then you start adding stuff onto it. It, it actually it's probably closer to seven billion after you outfit the whole dang thing. Yeah, only five billion. Check the nav beacon, or do you think you've got something? I can I can pop by the star.
remember, if you've got to go, don't worry about it. I don't want you to feel stressed on time or anything like that. We've got... We've got all the time in the world to do this a different day, any day. Yeah, do that, and then, uh... Then you get home and worry about it then. I sell modules too, I don't sell ships. If it is, go ahead and get it started and I'll be right behind you. selected six there. Yeah, I don't I don't have a public shipyard. I just have my own private shipyard. Scouts. Let me head over to the nav beacon, update my data. I, um, if I organize something like, um, you know, a trip to the center of the galaxy or something like that, then, uh, I'll probably open up a shipyard, but until then, it's just it's my ships. Sounds good, Clover. Buy meta alloy on surface cheap, sell at 900,000 credits per ton. Wow. Yeah, you know, that's something people need to unlock engineers. Uh, modular terminals are something that I like to do, especially if I'm doing like station evacs, where you can get a lot of modular ter terminals pretty quickly. I'll stock up on a bunch of modular terminals, put them on my carrier, and people, it, they'll sell out in a day, because people need them, uh, I think, to unlock an engineer. I forget which one. It makes sense, too. It's the biggest grind, you know. HN shock, men's articulation mortar. Motors. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Yeah, it the stuff sells really well and and I actually have always set a pretty reasonable price for it. I mean obviously there's uh you know some markup, but I don't extort pretty pretty decent price you know helps people out makes the carrier some money you know I don't think I'm gonna be getting rich on modular terminals or anything like that drive charging Five, 
well, Meta Alloys actually probably put a little bit steeper price on, just because they're a little more tricky to get. It's easy to do a bunch of evacuation runs and stock up on, you know, modular terminals, articulation motors, stuff like that. But you know, the metas, you got to go find the, the barnacle sites or whatever, and do whatever. All right, let's check our list. Fret six again. Six again. E. Ooh. Oh, there's a five. A forty-eight hundred away. How much time we got? Three minutes. We're not gonna make it there in three minutes, folks. It's just not gonna happen. I'll point that direction, but I don't think we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to make three minutes, not with decelerating on the other end. It may respawn though, so I'm gonna head that direction. Trading mission. Clover, get home safe, okay? Thanks for joining me. Always good to see you. might actually possibly make this. I don't know, because we still haven't decelerated yet. It would be really tight if we did. I'm gonna wait to throttle down until the very last minute. Hopefully we don't loop. Actually, I think we're gonna make it, you guys. Possibly gonna make it. Oh no! Oh. Well, Alright, we're not making it now. We were gonna make that. We were gonna make it. Now I got this gag assist off. You just kept me from reaching. Did you know what you cost me, buddy? You greedy Sean Connolly. I think I knew it's Sean Connolly in real life, actually. That's really funny. Flight assist on. I know, but I'm not in the mood. <laughs> and I've got all the Thargoid stuff on there. It's He's got shields. I don't have any shields. Different kind of ship. I've got a lot of hull, but I want to fight a Thargoid. This was the one 
It did respawn. Okay. Okay. We got one that popped back up. Lots of time. Yeah, it's not worth the effort. I'm just gonna go get this, this threat five. Um, I was gonna do something though. I was gonna. Clover's been one of my uh, mentors. I don't know what my um, bot is doing. It's supposed to be saying something. But at least we're getting the uh, clips, so. He's been one of my mentors since I started learning uh, Thargoid combat. Excuse me. Uh, no. Lots of thanks to him. Very good teacher. He helps a lot of people. Yeah, at least it's playing the clips. I gotta figure out why uh, Cloudbot's not saying anything. It's he's saying things to the follows. I mean that's nice, but it's being moody. Supposed to give you a link. Um, Bazooka. I haven't heard about Robigo passenger missions for quite some time. I know they used to be a big, a big thing. Um, I don't know. The last time I did um, a trip out to Colonia, I stopped by a, I think it was a tourist system, or tourism system on the outskirts of the bubble on my way out, and I picked up some passenger missions, so I was going to run passengers out to Columbia. good. It ended up, one of the passengers was wanted by somebody, and I was getting chased by some assassin halfway to frickin' uh, Polonia. And then, uh, the time limit to complete the passenger missions to Polonia was really constrictive, so I really had to be booking it to, to Polonia.
being racist, and you know, trading, mining, on foot stuff now too. Their screenshots are always fun. <laughs> I mean, um, you know, it's just a big sandbox. I mean, what you get to you get to play around in a one-to-one -one creation of the Milky Way. I mean, that alone is. Boggling to me.
got me now. Flight assist off. It's easy to lose time in this game, it really is. Form of five is fine, I'll deal with it. Target shields offline. Flight assist on. Thank you. 
malfunctioning, guys. Um, Make some heat sinks. Um, I don't know. I know I've accidentally repaired, I think I've accidentally repaired them before. I don't know for sure. Oh, you found a black hole, Lacna. That's awesome. I love black holes. Love the lensing effect. All right, does anything need repair while we're on the go? Probably a lot. For sure. Somebody told me it does, somebody else told me it doesn't. But when I saw that limpet going for that Dargoid, I was like, oh no, I'm killing it. I'm killing the limpet. Still got the, the five swarm, so that's okay. Flight assist on. Why do I keep passing? Void, where are they? Still five. I'll, I'll deal with five. That's fine. I don't want to make it. Alright, 
there's two tonight. Oh, I got a kink in my neck. Oh, it does so little repair. It's not even noticed. Okay. I won't worry about it so much next time. I'm not going to go in there and get the heart this time, you guys. That, that was just too, too caustic. <laughs> in the future, I'll, I'll deal with it, but... Weapon parts get to 50%. Thanks, Top Flight. Spawned when I, uh. I see. Okay. Well, that's cool. I think it's gone, though. I think. I think I might have despawned it when I, um. When I took off. Or gets booped. Yeah. Is this the wreckage? Goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, alrighty. Let's not look too close. Um Carrier for repairs. <laughs> an attractive specimen. I was trying to figure out like where the pilot would sit or something. I'm not quite sure which end I was looking at, to be quite honest. I don't know if I was looking at the butt end or the head end. Or, uh, it's kind of 
messy in there. Supposedly there is a pilot and they're communed to the ship from what I understand. This was explained to me pretty recently actually. Um, this was recently discovered too in some settlement logs I think somebody found or something. Like INRA uh, logs. But remember the movie Pandora? Um, where they connected to the flying things and the animals they could connect. Um, it's supposed to be similar to that. Um, it's like a symbiotic thing. I know, right? Reminds me of uh, Independence Day. Actually, where they're doing the autopsy, and like uh, the actual aliens, they they were inside like the armored body, so it was like two bodies, and then it it came out and grabbed the doctor and squeezed his neck and was like talking through the freaking poor doctor's vocal cords. Dr. Oaken, I think his name was. Yeah, it was Brent Spiner. He played a really good uh, Dr. Oaken. Movies from my childhood. You gotta be careful slamming down your uh, shieldless ship. Yeah, he definitely had the wild eyes about it. Contact confirmed. Command shut down. How can we help, Commander? Absolutely, yeah. He was really um, worried about that for his career, I remember. Okay, yeah, this is an expensive one, actually. Under a thousand credits on the internal. I kind of don't want to redeem here because the carrier takes a cut. Of course, I guess I'm just paying myself. My pilots take a freaking cut too. Like, watch this. I'm going to hit it. Watch how much of a cut it takes between my pilots and my carrier. Bam, like six million. You know what is how much? That's that is a good movie. It really was. It really was. All right, should we? Yeah, you know what? Somebody told me about that, that I should probably start doing it. I've never done power play before ever, like ever. <laughs> All right, it's about five o'clock here. I'm going to pass along the, um, the action. Let's see. I'm going to get the action passed along here, guys. All 
Alright, pause that. Yakking in my ear while I'm trying to wrap up with my folks. Alright, who's on tonight? Okay, it looks like we've got we've got Friendship Drive, we've got Nick Lambert. Well, who are we all, uh, you know, I haven't, uh, no. You too, you too, it was really nice. Thanks for uh, bringing everybody by and um, yeah. I'll be back tomorrow, I think, tonight or it's late or early depending on what you got going on, but, uh... <laughs> but no, it was good. That they, it was really nice to uh, meet so many new people tonight. And, um, you know, it was successful evening, I think. You know, I did a couple kills all on my own, which was unheard of a week ago, folks. It was unheard of. So um, I'm a very humble person, but I'm going to toot my own horn for just a moment that I've, I've been learning a lot, so. Um, <laughs> it was a lot of work to learn Thargoid combat, you guys. It was a lot of work. This is completely different than anything else in the game. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, yeah, I did about a three-hour one earlier, and then I did another, what, three-and-a-half-hour one now. I'm not quite a 12 hour. You got me beat there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pass along the love. I think I'm gonna drop you guys in with uh, We'll drop in with friendship. She's been lurking a lot lately in my channel. I'm gonna S2 Am I saying this right? S2 K boy. Welcome to the channel. Good to see you. I'm getting ready to send everybody over to uh, Friendship Drive Charging's channel. Thank you for popping in, seeing us. I think she's... I'm not sure what she's working on right now, but uh, she's usually out there in the black of space. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you all so much for joining me. It's been an honor to have you all. Thank you so much for the subs, for the subscriptions, uh, the subs and subscriptions. Thank you so much for the subs, the follows, you guys. I'm new to this, and it really means a lot that you would come spend your time with me. I am very much honored, and I love having your company, playing my favorite games. He's been doing a lot of exobiology. I love that. So, um, all the people scrolling across your screen, you guys, thank you so much for giving me the support. Uh, we love space here. So come back, join me anytime for space, all right? Uh, good stuff, good stuff. So, here it comes, let's get it going. Let's get everybody queued up. This is Friendship Drive Charging. She's absolutely relaxing, fabulous. Um, very wonderful streamer so you guys um, I always say uh, be kind to one another out there. there's a you know million moments in a day and any one of them interacting with others could change somebody's life so uh, 07 to you guys uh, she needs a Corvus voice back <laughs> I love her voice I think it is so relaxing you guys it's it's awesome so I love doing you know doing space with her so anyway you guys again thanks so much for the support i will be back tomorrow or tonight whatever it is usually about 1 a.m my time 12 o'clock maybe try and be on earlier you know gives us more time but anyway 07 commanders fly safe i will see you next time here is friendship drive
and 07 to anybody still watching. Here comes the end. Thank you, thank you.